The topic of this video is using a graph to find local and absolute maxima and minima. All right, so here's a problem. Use the graph provided to determine the local minima, local maxima, absolute minima, and absolute maxima. Notice that I've listed a place here where we can put our answers, and this is the graph that's been provided. Now, before we solve this problem, let's look at an example of each one of these. So here I have a small graph showing a local minimum. A local minimum is a point that is the smallest of all points nearby it, and there have to be some points to the left of it and some points to the right of it. Notice that this is at the bottom of the valley and is a local minimum. This is the bottom of the valley and is a local minimum. But this is not because there are no points to the left of it. All right, local maximum. Maximum would be the top of the hill. So for example, this is the top of the hill, that's a local maximum. This is the top of the hill, that's a local maximum. But this is not because there are no points to the left of it. And this is not because there are no points to the right of it. Absolute minimum is the lowest of all points of the entire graph. This graph has only one absolute minimum. It's this point right here. We don't care whether there are points to the left or right of it. We just care that it's the lowest of all of the points in the graph. And finally, absolute maximum is the highest of all points on the graph. In this case, we have a tie. This point and this point are the highest of all the points, but there's, they are at the same height. So therefore, this particular graph has two absolute maximum points which we could say is two absolute maxima. Okay, so let's approve, uh, let's apply these ideas now to this graph right here. All right, local minima. So we're looking for something that looks like this, a valley with a point at the bottom. So how many local minima does this graph have? The answer is two. There are two local minima. So for example, this one right here, which I'm gonna put an extra green dot around, and this one right here, those points are both at the bottom of the valley, and there are some points to the left of them, some points to the right, some points to the left, some points to the right. And for this reason, there are two local minima. They are 0, 0, as well as 3, 2. All right, our next category is local maxima. All right, so a local maxima would look something like this. It's at the top of the hill. So we're looking for something that's at the top of the hill. So how many of those points are there in this graph? Only one. This is the only point that is at the top of the hill. It's the only point that is the highest of all nearby points where there is points to the left as well as points to the right. So two comma three is the only local maximum point. Sometimes students suggest that negative one one is a local maxima. It is not. There are no points to the left of negative 1, 1, and therefore it cannot be a local anything, and we do not include it. Okay, next, absolute minima. Absolute minima are the lowest of all points of the entire graph. Well, if we look at the blue curve here, the one that is closest to the bottom would be this point right here, 0, 0. So our only absolute minimum point is 0, 0. And this illustrates a very important characteristic, which is that one point can satisfy two different categories at the same time. The origin, 0, 0, is both an absolute minimum and a local minimum at the same time. And finally, that brings us to absolute maxima. So what is the highest blue point of this entire graph? The most common wrong answer I get from students is this one right here, 2, 3. And the reason why that's wrong is because it has a height of 3, and there are other points on the graph that have heights that are higher, like this one right here, which has a height of 5, and this one right here, which has a height of 7. But what's interesting about this graph is it does not have an absolute maximum because of this arrow. The asymptote tells me that the curve forever approaches but never reaches that dashed line, and the arrow indicates it goes up forever. Since it goes up forever, it cannot have a maximum. In fact, if you tried to pick a maximum point somewhere on this blue curve, the moment you lock down that point and say, this is the maximum, the curve keeps going and then it's not the maximum anymore. So the answer for this particular problem is none. This graph has no absolute maxima.